Anytone satellite update. Okay, so I just got a bit of updated information for you on the Anytone satellite feature. First of all, it does work on the 878s with the blue button. In the previous video, I showed the models, so uh, just putting that out there to start with. It doesn't work on the 578, it might do in the future. This feature was intended for the new radio, and we're very surprised to see it included in the 878. So I think we're quite lucky to have it. So now the passes it gives you are out, they're way off. So some of them are way off, particularly the ISS, some of the passes are missing. On other satellites, I've been experimenting with SO50 and PO101, and they seem reasonably accurate. And yes, we can see that is spelt wrong. We're well aware of that. And there is an issue where the radio freezes up when it's predicting, when this line's going across, it freezes up. And even if you switch it off, it won't go off. You have to remove the battery so they're aware of that as well and uh, we, we've discovered some control so let me just choose a satellite we've had no documentation from any tone on the controls you know very you know very very basic information in the change log so we found a satellite this is the nearest one that's going to happen 38 minutes and there are some controls so you on the clicker knob at the top, the left knob on the top, that acts as a squelch. And secondly, the up down control gives you more information. It tells you the elevation, the duration, azimuth, and the receive and transmit frequency. It would also show a tone if you've got one there. Now we're looking at AO27 satellite. And when, you, when you're on this screen, when you've just come down one, when, you, when you've just come down one, the preset buttons on the side, the two below transmit, take it through the next passes of this particular satellite. So if you're only interested in AO27, for example, that's quite handy. So I'm just going to change it to PO101 because I was experimenting earlier. You have to wait for it to scroll across. So this is PO101 and it's saying one hour 43 away. And on ISS Detector, which is the app, which is very accurate, it's saying one hour, just gone one hour 42 away. And they're both accurate. It's just that I haven't set the time on the Anytone precisely to the actual Greenwich Mean Time, the actual real time. So it is accurate. On some satellites, let's just look at the ISS. Eight sixteen tonight. I'm just going to change ISS detector to show the space station. Go back. I have paid for this app and it gives you the, the amateur radio satellites as well. So I'm just updating it. So there's none that match that. And we know that the time counting down is accurate and I've got them both in the right format regarding UTC. So
Now that's interesting. That one is accurate. That's fairly accurate. Is that the same one? Just wondering. 3 minutes 20. No, that's not the same one. That one is 7 minutes. Anyway, yeah, so it is not accurate on some satellites. So that's about all I've got, uh, 2E0 UKH.